Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at sending emails with Laudable. So let's get started, guys. Now, what I would like to do is send an email whenever we register any user. Right now, we don't send any emails, so I want to send them a welcome email, okay? Thank them for joining the website. So let's go ahead and learn how we can do that. So the first step before actually doing any email sending is you need to create a mailable class object, okay? So, and this is kind of easy to do. You can use PHP Artisan. So go ahead in your terminal and type in PHP Artisan make mail and then enter the email name you want to have. So I'm going to say a welcome email. You can name it whatever you like, maybe like new user registered email, whatever you want to, whatever kind of email you want to send, just have the name. And usually I like to pre basically add email at the end. So it's easy to search for these. I'm going to hit enter. And after you run it, Laravel will go ahead and create a new folder inside your app directory called mail, and then have your basically email class inside it. And basically emails in Laravel, is going to be a simple uh, class that extends a mailable class here, as you can see. Now inside it, you will by default have three methods. Okay, so you're going to have an envelope method, which is going to be basically like the header of your email, the subject, uh, the from email, maybe if you have any CCs, things like that, current copy, you can define them here. Uh, this next one is going to be a method for the content, as the name suggests, it's basically what the user sees, right? The HTML or the markdown of your email it goes here. And then you have a last method for attachments. If you want to send any attachments, you can define the files here. Okay, we will go through all of them one by one. So uh, with the envelope, the easiest thing you can do is you can just update basically the subject. So for instance here, I'm going to say uh, welcome, or I can say uh, thanks for uh, joining. And then I'm going to add our app name. And here we can use the configs. So I'm going to say config app.name, okay? And we actually already have done this on our layouts, if you guys uh, remember or not, okay? So this is exactly what we did on our layout over here. And I'm going to default define an, uh, basically an empty default. So you can define your subjects here. Now you can also uh, basically have the from. So if you want to send the email from a specific uh, email address, you can define it here. You can also define a global sender address, which is what we're going to use. So you have a lot of options here. I'm going to just open up the class this envelope class, actually, so we can take a look. You have from, uh, you have to, you have CC, BCC, uh, reply to, obviously subject we already defined. You can have metadata. So there's a bunch of different things you can use. So by default, you're just defining subject. So you have a lot of options here. Now for the content, uh, you can pass in a blade file here. So I'm going to go ahead and the display file does not exist, but I'm going to create a folder called emails and then say a uh, welcome email. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put my HTML here. So let's go ahead and create that inside views. I'm going to create a new folder called uh, emails. And then inside here, I'm going to say a uh, welcome email dot blade dot PHP. Now, if you have a lot of emails, maybe like emails for users, emails for creating posts. Maybe you can have subfolders inside your emails folder, but in our application, we might send like two emails at most. So I'll keep it simple. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I guess, thanks for joining, joining. And then here, actually, I want to have the username here. So I'll, I'll show you guys how we can do that in a second. Right now, we don't have access to the user. And then here, I'm just going to say testing, something like that, okay? You can create your own HTML template and add them here. This is basically a fully functional blade file. Anything you can do in your regular layouts, you can do inside the email as well. Now, to be able to pass data to our blade file, uh, you can use, there is an extra argument in this content class called wit. And then this is similar to how you would pass data to your blade files in your controllers. You can basically give it an array and pass all your basically data here. So I'm going to pass in the user that we are sending this email to. Now, right now we don't have access to this user. So what we can do is we can go ahead and define basically a private property. It could be protected. It's up to you, but I'm going to create a private uh, user property and you can also typecast it. So I'm going to say user, user, and then receive that in your constructor when you're sending the email. So I'm going to say user 
user and then this dot user equals user now in php 8 uh, you can technically remove this these two i'm going to keep it because it's a bit uh, easier to understand for people new to php but if you like you can make this a bit shorter and in php 8 and above just write this and it will work exactly the same but i think for people new to php this might be a bit confusing so i'm gonna basically that's how you can pass data to your email using the constructor and then you can access it here so you can here i can say this dot user and pass the user to my blade file okay very easy to do so whatever data you want to receive on your emails define them as a property and then set them in your constructor that's the process so now here instead of username i can say a user name just like that okay so we have created our email class we have defined our html how can we actually send it now this is done basically very easily so in our case i want to send the email when a new user registers so i have my auth controller open over here so i'm going to find where we are actually send creating the user which is inside this store method so here we are doing our validation here we are creating the user i'm going to store it in a variable so what i'm going to do is basically after we create the user i'm going to go ahead and send the email okay so i'm going to say there is an mail class that laravel pro provides it's called facades so i'm going to say mail and it's inside illuminate support facade mail okay and here we can go ahead and it has a static method called to we can define who you want to send the email to in our case it's going to be user.email and then you can basically call send the send method and these are chainable and then pass in a new instance of our email class which was welcome email yeah now this welcome email obviously our constructor expects a user okay so i'm going to also pass in the logged in user here and that is basically all you have to do to send emails yeah just one line of code now if you want to add some additional things to your email maybe you want to have a cc for this specific email you can do that there's a, a cc method here you can do uh, there's also a bcc these are all available options for now we're going to keep it simple and i'm not going to add any of those actually let's keep it two lines for now okay guys so that's all we have to do in terms of code for sending emails now we do need to also define and set up our mail server configurations so that is done through our env file so if you go ahead and you open up your env file and scroll down there is a section called mail there is a mail section it's kind of similar to our database information and here you can actually go ahead and define your smtp server details okay there's also a mail from address this is kind of the global mail from the from address that is used for all your emails okay now if you want to define a different email for a specific email uh, you can again also define it inside this envelope okay so you can also define it here manually if for example for a welcome email you want to have a specific from sender you can define it here but if you don't define it it will go ahead and use the default here and here i have it no reply add domain name so instead of just domain name you can have your actual domain name here and then the mail from name obviously is going to be the name sending the email so by default uh obviously it has some i have set up mail trap here okay so if you want to send emails for testing purposes uh, there's a website called mail trap that allows you to do it so you guys can go register it's a free website just basically search a uh, mail trap on google and go on their website and create a free account and once you do that on their home page there's a section called email testing so you can just click on start testing and it brings you here and just go and inside this integration search for laravel where is laravel yeah here and we'll actually go ahead and give you the doc the configuration so you, you don't need to define it yourself i'm just going to go copy this and this is just a test account i have created using a temporary email guy so uh, you know, I don't care about the passwords and stuff for it, but basically you can go ahead and replace it with the default that comes with Laravel. I have already done that before the episode. I just wanted to make sure mail trap still works. I haven't used it in a, at least a year. So, but it is, that's all you have to do. You just go ahead and paste it. Now, if you are on a production server or staging and you want to use something like Mailgun, things like that, uh, Laravel documentation, if you go on Laravel documentation and select mail, they do have a section for 
driver prerequisites. So you do need to go check there. And if you, for example, are doing Mailgun, you need to follow the steps here for it to work. So you need to install Symfony HTTP client for it to work. And then if you are doing like Postmark, so they have different like explanations for different drivers. There's just too many of them for me to cover all of them. But I believe the Mailgun website also has a tutorial, okay? So if you're using any specific email service provider, just going on their website, they will give you kind of uh, the details of it. So similar to kind of like MailTrap that they have this configuration here, I believe majority of them will probably have either an article or a tutorial on how to set it up for Laravel, okay? Just search on Google your email, uh, you know, service provider and then Laravel. And they should have a tutorial on doing it. And in those tutorials, they usually have the configuration if you don't know how to set it up yourself. But yeah, so that's basically all we have to do for MailTrap. I have gone ahead and set that up. And this will allow us to do basically testing for our email sense. So let's go ahead. I'm going to log out, uh, register a new user. And I'm just going to put some random email here, some random password. And then let's click on submit. And again, on MailTrap right now, I don't have an email. So I'm going to say submit. And if we didn't make any mistakes, we should be able to receive our email. Now, as you can see, it is taking a little bit of time to send the email. You can actually queue your emails if you would like. Laravel does have support for that. So if you guys want to uh, want me to make a video about how to queue our emails, I could do that. But basically, that's the basics of sending an email. I'm going to go ahead, open up MailTrap. And as you can see, it says, uh, thanks for joining ideas. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. As you can see, we got the email and that's all we had to do. Okay. And the HTML template looks exactly as we defined it. Now, if you would like to preview your emails before you send them, maybe you have an admin panel and you want to show the preview to the admin. Uh, there is one trick you could do. So I'm going to go open up our dashboard controller just for testing purposes. If you just want to see a preview of your email, you can actually go ahead and return uh, the instance of your mailable mail email class. So I can say new uh, welcome email and then pass in the logged in user just because we need that. And this will go ahead and just display the HTML for you. Just for testing purposes, obviously. So uh, usually the only times I have used this is when I have an admin panel and I want to show the preview to the admin so they can see what the email looks like. But if we go ahead and we reload the page, it says undefined property user. Yeah, this should be that. Parentheses. Let's reload. And are we logged in or not? I believe I did not log in. So I need to log in because we're not logging. We are getting a no. So I'm going to go ahead and log in into one of my accounts. And basically now that I go to the dashboard page, uh, we are seeing the email template. So if you want to do a preview of your emails, uh, there is basically you can do it this way just for testing purposes, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that because we already obviously tested it using MailTrap and we were able to receive our emails. Now, one more thing I would like to cover before we end it, guys. So again, for the envelope class, just if you inspect it in like PHP Storm or VS Code, you can see all the available options. We have from, to, CC, BCC, reply to, if you guys want to define all of those. The same for content. If you inspect it, there is basically view, HTML, text, markdown, and width. And then for the attachments, what if you want to send basically some file as an attachment? So uh, basically inside this array, you can define as many attachments as you would like. I'm going to go ahead and define one attachment. So basically you can use a, met a class called attachment and it is going to be inside illuminate mail mailable attachment. So there is, it's already defined here. And then it has a bunch of uh, static methods on it that you could use. So these are called from data, from path, from storage, and then from disk. So you could use, use any of those. If you have like a base 64 image, you could maybe use from data, I believe. Uh, I'm going to use from storage disk. And because we don't have any images, I'm going to use one of the images we uploaded for our user profile pictures. So the first argument is going to be di the disk, which we are using the public disk. And then the second one is going to be the image itself. And all of our images are inside the profile folder. So I'm going to go open up and find one of the images. So we have public profile. I'm going to go ahead and copy this actually. Okay. And paste it in over here. And that's all we have to do basically to send an attachment and you can copy paste this and have as many attachments as you need. Now on a real application, obviously you're going to be probably loading this from the database. Uh, 
since we don't have any images i'm just going to hard code it here so a new user obviously won't have any images so that's all we have to do guys and now to do test it maybe we can create a new user so i'm just going to go ahead uh, lo log out create another test user very quickly I hope I didn't mistype the password. Let's create, click submit. I'm going to go ahead, open up my inbox. And we just got a new email a few seconds ago. I'm going to open it up. And if you go on the previous email, guys, I don't know if you guys can see where my mouse is. It's empty on the new email. There is basically an attachment here. Okay, so we were able to successfully basically uh, send the attachment. And as you can see, it's whatever this is dot PNG. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the link. I don't know if I can actually view the image here. Yeah, it's going to go ahead and download it. But basically, that's how it works, guys. So, yep, that's basically the basics of sending emails in Laravel, guys. Hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. And I appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button and like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.